Hey guys! I'm sorry that this lighting is like absolutely horrible right now. I'm just sort of improvising. I just put like my really bright desk light next to me. My other studio light that I usually use the light bulb just like stopped working for no apparent reason whatsoever so I'm just sort of improvising right now I'm deciding whether I want to get a new light maybe or I need to figure out how to make my other light work again anyway I'm here to bring you guys my winter biannual bibliothon wrap-up video I read a total of four books and 10% of my last book the first book that I read was Otherworld by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller. This was the group book that everyone was challenged to read. I read this Saturday to Sunday. I really, really liked it. There is a review that I'm going to put up. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to join in with the live show yesterday, but I will definitely still watch it, hopefully. The second book that I read was Faking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. This was my mental health book. In the end, I kind of turned out to not really be a mental illness book. It was more just about this girl who is suffering I would say like a type of PTSD because something really horrible happened to her over the summer. It was listed as a mental illness book on some Goodreads lists and also on some people's videos so I decided that this would count. I did really enjoy this book though and I would definitely recommend to read it. The next book that I read was Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. I have to unfortunately say that I absolutely did not like that book. The general concept of the book and just like the way that the society was built up and just kind of all that the book promised to be was really really well constructed right like I thought that the premise was just really interesting but the way that it was executed was just so boring there wasn't really anything that fueled my interest in this general idea of wanting to rebel against like an evil society that you know like books like The Hunger Games or Divergent or you know The Giver by Lewis Lowry sort of invoke in you and this book just really didn't do that for me I was really disappointed. I didn't like the main character. It was understandable that I wouldn't like him in the beginning just because he was very much influenced by the society, but he didn't really have any like redeeming qualities. Even the people that were supposedly like the rebels or like the people that were supposed to be sort of revolutionizing everything were just so one-dimensional, just really boring, and I just really didn't like it. The writing was absolutely choppy. I didn't really get into it at all. If you want to hear more of my thoughts, I will link my blog review post down below. If you guys want me to actually do a review video for you guys, just let me know. But yeah, I didn't like it. I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars. Not reading again. The next book that I read was my backlist title slash book under 200 pages, and that is Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne. This was so cute. It was everything that I hoped that it would be. I'm a huge fan of the Winnie the Pooh movies. I'm a sucker for Disney movies, and Winnie the Pooh is definitely one of my favorite movies that Disney has brought out. It was just so cute. I don't really know whether I like this more than the movie. I liked it very, very much. The only thing that I might note is that the main characters were sometimes a bit cruel, you know, like they weren't like that in the movie. There was this one chapter where they tried to get rid of Kanga and Rue because they were sort of like foreign animals, so like isn't that technically like a type of like racism? I don't know. Either way, it was cute though, I really enjoyed the stories. I think that maybe I'm tending like a little more towards just like enjoying the movies a bit more just because I love having visual stories. You know, I just love Winnie the Pooh, I love Disney, it's just like everything that I ever want it to be. But this book was just really adorable. I'm definitely gonna go and grab the second one sometime. Nothing to say about this, five out of five stars. And the book that I am currently reading is Air Fire by Sarah J Mass. I should have gotten around to this book like ages ago. I'm about 15% through already. I got like about 10% done on Friday, so I didn't finish this book, but I managed to complete six out of seven challenges for the Bibliothon, which I am really, really proud of. So I think that was it for my quick biannual bibliothon wrap-up video. I did really 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 enjoy joining in with everyone. Unfortunately it was just kind of bad timing with like my studies. I'm currently still writing my paper. I'm almost done with it but I still have like other exams I need to study for so while I'm really really glad that I joined in with the reading challenges I'm also kind of happy that I didn't do the video challenges because I know that I just absolutely would not have had time for that like oh my god no. But other than that I really really did enjoy it. It was really fun 
and I'm definitely gonna join in again in the summer. If you guys are watching and you haven't joined in the biannual bibliothon yet, I would really, really recommend you guys actually go and do that in the summer. It's really fun. Obviously, I didn't read as much as I hoped that I would have, but I definitely got more reading done that I kind of do on an average day while also maintaining my sort of college studies and doing my homework, which is really good. Let me know whether you guys joined in in the biannual bibliothon. Let me know how you, what your TBR was. Let me know how many books you guys ended up reading, which ones you liked, which ones you didn't like. Did you guys read any of the ones that I did? Besides Other World, of course. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye. <laughs>